Hey, what's going on guys? Craviator here. Today we are going to be going back to a tuning and building guide. We haven't done one of these for probably, I don't know, nearly almost a year now, which is crazy. Time flies when you're having fun, right? Um, so today we'll be doing the 1992 Ferrari F12 TR. Did I get that right? I hope so. Yes, I did. So it's a 1992 Ferrari F12 TR for A class. It is a grip car so this car will be pretty good for it's I tuned it for Catalonia and I'm pretty sure I did like a 50 1 minute 53 low or mid on the rivals which I think was like top 20 or top 25 so it's a really good car it's got a lot of grip um, it's probably better for the more flowing grip tracks say for example Maple Valley Catalonia uh, some Bernie's Alps tracks, maybe the club or possibly the festival. I don't know about Stadplatz because that's funny enough. It's more of a grip slash power track, a speed track. So you need more, a bit more power. But I don't think that's got enough for that track. So maybe possibly Alps Club and also Alps Festival, Hockenheim Short. All the short tracks will be really good at. Um, a lot of uh, tracks that need lateral grip will be very, very good. This car will be very good. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, you're gonna need a Ferrari F five twelve TR nineteen ninety two. So if you've got one, go to the garage, the buy cars, go to Ferrari, scroll down to Ferrari, no, scroll down to Ferrari, scroll down to nineteen ninety two. That's the one, the big red one, like all the other ones. Um, this car in Forza 4 is actually one of my favorite cars. It was so fun to drive and I absolutely loved it. It sounds amazing and the look of it is just, oh, can't go wrong with a, a nice old Ferrari. So once you've got the car, we're gonna go to tuning and upgrades. We're gonna go to the upgrade shop, platform and handling. First off, we're gonna throw those race brakes on. The springs, uh, make sure you don't go to the very end because this is a different set of springs. Uh, these are for the drift and uh, the drifting springs, so it's got uh, tuning angle and stuff like that. The car does handle differently with these, so you're gonna have to put the race springs on, which are for, you know, racing. And once we got that, we're gonna go put the roll bars on front and rear race roll cage. We're gonna have stock and the the race weight reduction for that one. Once we got that, we're gonna go to drivetrain. We're gonna check the clutch out, stock clutch. Stock transmission, stock driveline, race differential, and then t uh, tires and rims. We're gonna throw on the sport tires because the uh, the race tire compounds a little bit too much PI for us. It gives a lot more handling, but um, I think that's a little bit too much handling for this type of car. Uh, maybe for S class, it'd be really good um, if you put have this type of handling and put a lot of power into it, it'd probably be good for like tracks like Road America, etc. Um, but we're going for that grip life, so we're going to put those to sport tyre rims, keep it in A class, and we're going to have max tyre width on the front and max tyre width on the rear. Now, I'm pretty sure it's this rim style, the, the sport rim style. You're going to scroll all the way, I'm pretty sure it's the lightest rim, I could be wrong, but it's Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There it is. So we're going to have the Westport SA97Fs. I'm pretty sure they're the lightest rims. Let me just check. Yes, they are the lightest rims. So the lightest weight rims or equivalent, or you can have these ones. Take your pick. I like this one. It looks pretty cool. The spokes. And once you've got that one, rim style, the rim size, I'm pretty sure is stock as well. Yep, stock. Going to go to the aero. Put some nice aero packages on the front. Look at that. Oh, oh. And we're going to put that one on the rear. And we also got that race one on the rear. I kind of do like it without the wing, but oh well. Um, then we're going to go to conversion. I'm pretty sure it's got a stock engine because it hasn't. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it's stock. Everything's stock unless there's a supercharger, which there is not. And we're gonna go finally to engine parts. I'm pretty sure there's not many engine parts at all, if any. It may be a race exhaust. Oh, sport exhaust. So I'm pretty sure that's the only one we got in there. It looks like it is. Yeah. 
So the only thing we're going to throw into the engine part is the sport exhaust. Once you've got that in, I'm pretty sure that's everything I've covered. Yep, 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 yep. Once you've got all those builds, you should end up with, let me just quickly check, uh, 427 horsepower and uh, 2,006 pounds in weight, and that should be it. Um, once you've got that, guys, we're going to go tune car. We're going to throw 28, 28 pressures on them. The gears are stock. The, the camber, that's already the alignment, is negative 1.5, negative 1, 0, 0, 5. Anti-roll bars at 36 and 40. Springs are 515 and 515. Ride heights um, dropped to the minimum. Rebound 11, 2, 11, 5. Bump 1.7, 2.3. Uh, the downforce is max, so max all the way to the right, 100 and 200. Brakes are always your preference. I always go for 48, 140. That's always good for me. And the diff is 100% on acceleration and 15% on deceleration. The reason I've got it at 15 instead of normally zero is because it does like to um, oversteer off throttle a little bit. So that's why I just brought it up a little bit to there. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much it for the tune and build guide for this car. Um, like I said, very, very grippy car. It's good for the Catalonias and yeah, yeah. Maple Valleys and your yeah, other grip track places. And um, yeah, so quickly take it around. I probably, I'm going to try Brands actually indeed because I haven't tried it here. It might be good here. I'd say it'd be good here. What's the top time? All right, we've got 46.6. There's a lot of Alphas and there's a lot of Lotuses. This could be difficult. All right, let's go. I'm going to go for top 50. I'm going to give it... Alright, 48.4, there's a bone shaker in the top 50, okay, that's, wow, didn't expect that. Uh, Alright, so we're going to go to Brands Hatch, we're going to give it a couple of laps, and let's see how we go. So, there's this, uh, I can't remember if I ran traction control or not, I don't think it needs traction control, to be honest. Um, sim steering, you can try, you can drive with it, off or on, it's up to you guys, um, and you need manual clutch. I just can't remember if I need a traction control. I'm pretty sure you don't need traction control for this car. Alright, we're arriving. And hit start. So, we're going to try and beat this guy on our flyer. Hopefully. Won't take too long. Maybe. I say that now, probably just like... Trash. Alright. Look at that stunning car. That bone shake is so funny to watch. Oh yeah, you don't need traction with this car at all. It's got plenty of grip. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. I don't think I've done this track with the new track limits yet. I mean, I've done the full, but I haven't done this. Alright, let's see how we go on a flyer. Can we beat him? Most likely not. 50.8. Alright, we're in front by a little bit of a margin. I don't want to get beaten by a bone shaker. A little bit of touch on the grass. Uh. Alright, that was a bit of a sketchy lap. Can we make it? Can we get top 50 on a flyer? Yeah, we did it. Alright, do one more. That's because I want to do one more. I don't think that was as good as the first corner as last time, but... Go 
hopefully we can do better here. That was a lot nicer. A bit taily on the exit. Please don't hit the grass here. Oh, that was a lot nicer. Might be a 47. Come on. Oh, boo. All right. I guess that will do for now. Anyway, that was like a couple of laps. I'm sure if I did a few more laps, it would get into maybe top 25. Um, let's quickly check where we finish. Where is it? Hmm. Alright, back out of that one. See where we finished. This is taking forever. Alright, go to the leaderboard. Oh, we almost missed almost top 25. How close were we from top 25? I swear if it's like a 48. Oh, we could have done that easy. Alright, so it's a top 30 car. I've done two laps around this track. And yeah, all these cars have way more grip and way more acceleration than this thing. So I'm happy with that. I think it's the first one in the top 100 maybe. Have a quick, have a quick scan. I hope it's the only one in the top 50. Yes. Nice, we did it. First one and only one in the top 50 and we're almost top 25, how good's that? Two laps and it's almost top 25. All right guys, well, I'm gonna leave it with that. That's gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna back out of here. I'm gonna have a bit of a look at this car again. Oh, how good's this? Um, so if you did like the end of the video, I mean, if you did like the video, please just give this a like and a thumbs up and a favorite and share and all that kind of stuff. Um, it really, it really um, helps me out and if you want to give me a comment on what I should do next please just chuck one below and if you want to see more subscribe obviously and hopefully I will be posting more videos very soon and I hope you did like the video and I'll talk to you guys later.